let's get into the fuckery, man. Um, searches on for a man accused of stealing $15,000 from this convenience store while a worker was suffering a medical emergency, unable to move on the ground. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper joins us live from Atlanta Police Headquarters. <laughs> If you ever need medical attention or you're ever in a vulnerable position, you had better pray to God that you are not in the midst of the sun, people, man. In downtown Atlanta, and Tori, you spoke to the store clerk's good friends. They are terribly disappointed by this. Smash. And Sean, this store clerk had several friends in this area of Southwest Atlanta. He was very popular, very well known by several different people that I spoke to today. They all had so many nice words to say about him. And many of them today felt that the suspect in this case didn't just steal money, Sean. He stole this man's last opportunity to live. AB was a great guy. A great guy gone way too soon. And this was so unnecessary. Michael says his friend A.B. was working the night shift here at the convenience store on Campbellton Road when he collapsed behind the register. I mean, the guy had an opportunity to probably save his life by dialing 911, but his greed had him go in there and take the money and cigarettes and, it, you know, just in regard to the person in there. Police are now looking for the man you see in this picture. They say he walked behind the register and stole $15,000 instead of attempting to render aid or calling 911. Honestly, hit one if you're shocked. Honestly. What would I he mean... say? What would he say? Stay with me, dog. Stay with me, dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think. I, I think everyone knows that he couldn't do anything to help the guy. Somebody got a lot of feedback. Every I think everyone knows he couldn't do nothing to, to save the guy. But call 911. I think that's what people are saying. We know this guy wouldn't do nothing. But come on, dog. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah. But call 911 and let them, them come and tend to the guy. He just fucking saw the opportunity in. So Artifact says that he's shocked. And and listen, man, that's, don't tell me what you think I want to hear. I mean, listen, every Sun person is not going to do this, but more Sun people would do this than any other race, in my estimation. They do call America the land of opportunity, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was he got 15000 out of this. I mean, and then look, what they're going to do to him. If he had shot the guy in the head, he would get a bond to be out the next day. So the guy collapsing and him not calling 911, like, what? He gets charged with some, like, what, theft um, over, what, $900, and he, his, he has a 2026 court date, and then it gets tossed out by then before 2026. I mean, like, what you gonna do to this guy without finding? You want us to find this guy? Okay, for what? <laughs> uh, salute the genetic freak. He said, um, "Who's gonna break the news to fishermen that the Juice Crew are just the smartest of smart gliders, mixed with a little sand?" So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, fishermen, fishermen might be jealous, man, of their intellectual abilities, man. Police are now looking for the man you see in this picture. They say he walked behind the register and stole $15,000 instead of attempting to render aid or calling 911. Supposed to be brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, man. That ain't, that ain't right. The heartless act. We supposed to be brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers. Dude, literally. Like, do I need to go to the gun memorial? What the fuck are you talking about, dude? 911. Supposed to be brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, man. That ain't, that ain't right. The heartless act shocking the Southwest Atlanta community. AB's friend Michael says he saw their surveillance video of what happened. And it was so ugly because he pushed the door over his body. You know, no consideration of him. And, you know, with that being said, it was two hours actually before he passed away. So, 
I mean, damn, that guy didn't die for another two hours. That's sad, man. So that means other people came in the store. Because a, a store like this that's that busy during the daytime, imagine at night. There was a lot of people came in that store. And <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> Uh, he said he was having a heart attack no he had a heart attack he had a medical emergency so it's probably been a seizure he could have been epileptic could have had a seizure because when you're epileptic you got to make sure you they don't swallow their tongue yeah could have been a stroke a stroke yeah could have been something like that yeah and um yeah they was like Really suffering for the next two hours. That's sad. That's a sad way to go. And they say, "Dude, push the door." To <laughs> push the drawers. So, uh, I, uh, Brandon Taylor says this all the time. I know he didn't invent it, but it's like uh, crabs in a bucket, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even call this crabs in a bucket. I would call this just blatant callousness and disregard for human life. I would call this Negroes and Negro land. This is this is probably Negroes and Negro land. It's just you see a guy have like, and then you're just like, oh, sh-. the first thing you think about is what can I get out of this? That's your first thought. You can't teach that either. You can't teach somebody to be like that. That got a that's something that's just in you. You know what I'm saying? Push the door over his body. You know, no consideration of. And you know, with that being said, it was two hours actually before he passed away. So, I mean, if he would have rendered aid, who knows? Who knows? A nine one one call and take the money and go. You know what I mean? But nah. yeah, that's true. He could have taken all the money and called 911 anonymously from a um you know what I'm saying? But then again, he probably like I just stole all this shit. Fuck that, yeah. Or he could have called somebody to call 911. Yeah, now you get in a little bit. Yeah, that's a little much, man, but uh man, you have a human being. Now, if you recognize the man in the picture, call Crime Stoppers here at the Atlanta Police Department. They are now offering a $2,000 reward for an arrest in this case. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, I'm Tori Cooper. Atlanta News First. Thank you. You'll soon be seeing a lot more of the MTA station agents. That's right. Fox 5's Arthur Chan tells us why they'll be stepping out of the booths and interacting more one-on-one with riders. A big change is coming to the subways this week. As of Thursday, every one of the MTA's 2,200 token booth clerks will no longer be inside the booth. Reassigned, they will be out and about as station agents to engage subway riders directly and help improve. Oh, God. (laughs) This is why 